What's up guys? Okay, we are here today with a MiG-17 version one. I've already started redesigning it because uh, components need to be shifted. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this guy a rip and see if we can get her flying. And hopefully she will fly. But I already know that I need to make it easier on you guys with weight distribution and stuff. So uh, I'm just gonna chuck it and see if we get something. Yep, she's flying good. I figured she would. Oh, she flies really good. Just needs too much nose weight. So um, I'm going to adjust her. Wow, what a good flying plane. Let's see what the glide is. Yeah. Pretty great. 2200 4S, 50 mil. Take it off of uh, safe. Pretty cool. I like it. Very comfortable with it already. Wow. Okay. It's a shame I had to redo the whole thing, but with planes like this, um, you, uh, you, you get one shot basically. There's no room for the battery really. So, uh, And I really like flying it around on the twenty four on the twenty two hundred. Normally, I'm like a fifteen hundred guy, but uh, wow, no tip stall on that slow speed. Okay, alrighty, I am going to. Wow, this is a a very uh, unexpected. This is great. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove a little bit of weight on the front and see how far I can go back just to know exactly where the CG is supposed to be. Uh, a little behind the, my estimated bumps. So that's what we'll do. Okay, let's do that. I broke one of the gun tips. That's gonna happen. I think the way to do that is I can do a modified section and I can make them bigger than scale and then, uh, and basically go to wall or something, some heavy duty. All right, I would really like the shade, but not gonna happen. All right. All right, uh, first of all, let's check my, and this is friction fit, by the way. This is an interesting way to do it, right? With the cut out there, isn't that cool? I know I have another 387. Wow, so there's a lot of, a lot of flight time to be had here. All right, so I'm gonna take away a couple weights. Okay, that's harder than I thought. They're really stuck in there. <laughs> I gotta use a screwdriver, something. Get them out, there we go. I'm gonna take two weights out. So I'm gonna take two weights out of there. And get this guy in here. Shove the battery down, forward. And, okay, fire it up. I'm gonna do no safe mode anymore. 
just hand launch only. So now I am got wind. Now I am Ooh, a lot of wind. Woo! I'm basically two fingers behind where I originally thought. Okay. We got wind here. It flies like so scale. It <laughs> okay, so uh, I was rushing this this video, so I'm sorry I didn't get to give you the backstory. I was never a big fan of the 15, 17, 19, like all all the like this 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 type of Meg because I just never was F86. I mean, they have their place in history. I love them, but um, but it's interesting how I went to the Wildwood air show and there were two mig 17s cruising around and uh they were cool so i have to say uh this is uh this is pretty awesome all right before i eat this battery up i'm going to That CG is pretty much perfect. So, oh, this sucks, dude, because I could literally, I could, I could literally keep, this design's perfect. I just had to move the fan an inch and a half to get perfect CG. And I, what I also did, uh, so it's gonna have more power too. So it, it's gonna have more power because I, I maximized I, I cheated a little bit on this the diameter of the fuselage so that I could get more air intake and I also have a bigger battery bay so I did a lot of things to fix that so um wow but the 22 I'm gonna fly it without any weight in the nose there's three more gone there's nothing in there guys except just all there is now is just the uh it's just the the battery, the 2200. Now oh, there's no sun right now, so I'm gonna chuck her up. So I am currently I'm currently three three fingers behind. So let's see if this is too far or not. Let's see if it's oh, hold on a second. Gotta unplug it so I can get hand launch mode connected. See if we're good. Definitely more maneuverable. All right, so two to three fingers is where we want to be. much floatier now and uh, more maneuverable. Great flying plane. I see why people like them now. <laughs> I really do.
I don't think I could try a 1500, but I should. Ah, eh, screw it. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna just redo it. I was thinking about not redoing it and just seeing if this will work, but you know what's gonna happen? Half the people that, that try and print planes, print them heavy. And if you print heavy, you are not going to have a lot of fun trying to get this thing to balance. But I should try the 15 just in case it will fly. Nice. <laughs> this thing's cool. I really like it. I really like this thing. Oh, wow. Just like, so cool. My son is gonna freaking love it. Because he was obsessed with, there, at the, um, if you guys are ever in Wildwood or Cape May in South Jersey, there's a Cape May um, Air Museum. And that thing has a MiG-15 that you can sit in. Like, you can legit sit in it. And, uh, and I, I enjoy sitting in that thing. And my son, every single time we go there, we, we, he has to sit in that thing. So it's, uh, it's fun. All righty, let's get this in here. Probably won't fit, but. All right. All right, I don't want that to slide backwards. All right, this is gonna be danger right here. Still three. I'm, I'm a full three fingers back. So this is going to be dicey here, guys. Whether or not, uh, where's the glider? Where is he? He's looking over here. Somewhere. Oh, he's up there. Okay. heavy. Might be a little tail heavy. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, this thing flies light now. Maybe I won't redo it because this thing flies so good. Look at it. What a freaking plane. I'm like not even caring if I crash this thing. What a bird, 1500 guys. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. All right. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it some thought. This is a perfect design. It cool. It went together amazing. Um, it balances with a 1500 and a 2200. So I think it's fine. Um, you know what I can do? I can. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, let me know in the video. What What do you think? Do I redo it? I'll probably end up just redoing it because I don't want to hear anyone complain if they if they print heavy. So uh, I'm probably just gonna have to redo it. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. This was uh, this was cool, and I like this MiG-17. I think it's really awesome. So thanks for watching.